Head on back. Head on back. Head on back. Don't head on back. Where the heck was he? He was over here. Head on back. It's not raining anymore. Ring a ding ding. Head on back. Hey. Ready to get started? It's time to get started. I got all the stuff. Remind me again. What was your plan? You'll go up to the moon base at Terras Irredent to investigate why communications have gone silent. Simple. Anything else you can tell me about the moon base? Well, there are four main buildings. The main facilities are where scientists work and spend most of their time. You'll probably find Agnesa there. Then there's the greenhouse, where the plants are being looked after. And the rover garage. I think you can figure out what happens there. I have no idea. Is that where the dogs live? And last is the common relay. Agnesa has an office there. The central mainframe and radio control are on the second floor. There are also guest quarters for delivery personnel. Me? I don't think they're expecting any delivery soon, so they should be free. Uh, I can't believe you're not going to tell me who's funding this whole project, even though you said your head will explode if you tell me. Sorry, pal. I told you. I just can't tell you. It's not all that exciting, anyway. Is it, the, en is it the Enclave? But it's... I, I, it's, it's not the Enclave. Seems like you really care about your wife. How odd. Of course I do. <laughs> I love her. We've been together through a lot. Seen a lot of movies together. Speaking of which, watch your tone when you talk to her. Some people have been really rude just because she looks a bit different. I won't allow it. Is she a ghoul? She is beautiful. And if I find out that you've been mean to her, I will have a serious talk when you come back. I bet she's a ghoul. Uh, thanks for the meal. No problem. It's nice to have someone to talk to, you know? I don't get that many visitors around here. Okay, can you actually confirm 100% that I'm not going to get blown up as soon as I get in your rocket? Ugh, stop being such a worry pants. I got everything under control. I know my way around aircraft. I got a degree in all. Well, I'll admit there is a tiny chance that the rocket may explode. But it's like... 10%. No big deal. <laughs> oh, it'd be so awesome if the mod author actually put in, like, a 10% chance that the rocket would explode. <laughs> it just kills you. I don't know, man. There's radiation meteorites and no oxygen up there. Jeez, what are you? Chicken? Slightly. Let's get cracking before I stuff you in the rocket myself. Hey, one of my great-grandparents is ch chicken. Chicken. I'll be back. Okie dokie. Um, I got all stuff. Oh, awesome. Give them to me. Hot removed. Yeah, this will do. Put this on the rocket and we'll be good to go. I'll handle the rest from here. I took the time to sock a locker outside in the porch. Get yourself a full spacesuit. Take as many as you need. Left you some supplies, too. And take this. It's my old password. Don't know if it's still working, but it may be enough to get you into the base's main facilities, at least. I packaged a radio. Call me as soon as you arrive so I can give you instructions. And good luck, pal. Hope to see you back soon. I was then immediately killed. Any last words of advice? Hmm. Well, as I said before, the space suits have gravity modulators, so careful. You will hurt yourself if you fall. Very much so. Alright, I probably have to use those suits. The base is rather cramped. I'd recommend you go there on your own. But if you want to bring friends, keep in mind there's not a lot of elbow room. All right. Oh, and while you're there, ask Hated to cook you some of his mac and cheese lasagna. It is damn good. All right. Sounds good. Bye. Yep. Trust me. It's going to be fine. Good luck. Then I died. I keep saying I'm going to die. It's probably because I'm going to die like a bitch. All right. There was a thingy-majiggy, a little box. Is it? No, that's a barrel. Oh, maybe it is. What would you like to do? Insert homemade rod now. Uh, hunt, wait. Insert homemade rocket booster, 10%. <gasps> oh my god. Is there an actual 10% chance? That'd be awesome. Where do you say there was that thing? Here it is. Dude, look at this. This is cool. This is custom as well. 
Explore the moon as is best done on your own due to confined spaces, so it is advised to ask any followers to stay and wait for you here. If you insist, however, remember to give them space outfits, because they will die. It's just me, I'm ready. I'll go tell my companions to wait, and I'll be back. I'm bringing everyone along, and you can't stop me. I'm not bringing everyone, I'm just bringing... I'll bring Janet and Jerry, I guess. Suit. Gloves. Helmet. Suit. Gloves. Helmet. Uh, sure. Suit. Gloves. Gloves. Helmet. Time to get naked. Hey, Chad, you poop your pants again? Where's your mother? No, oh, there she is. Okay. All right, Jerry, change of plans. Let's see. Actually, moon suit. No, that's mine. Space suit. Space... Space suit. So where's my gloves? Space suit gloves. Alright. Ooh, there's a little, uh... Oh, God. Oof. Alright, little bit... Let me check this. Okay, so there... It, it does make it a little bit fuzzier. Okay. All right. Well, I guess that's intentional. So. Oh, they did. They did a retexture to spacesuit. So look at that. I didn't even need to do that. Awesome. Theirs is much better. Janet, you okay? You shit your pants again. <laughs> All right. Um. Let's. Uh, let me put this. Hey, what are you doing here, you damn hobo? What are you doing? I'll mind my business. You mind yours. Hey, look, I'm about to go open a rocket ship. I don't want you hoblosing around. Hoblosing? Yeah, that's what you do. You hoblos around. Hey. I'm taking this. I'm taking these binoculars, too. Does this do anything? Stargazing techniques. Survival. Sure, why not? What? Oh, right, okay. Um, all right, I need to take everyone's magic suits and shove them. Okay, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna tell AJ and Steve and Bobby and Uncle John to stay here, and we'll be right back. All right, everyone. Everyone's gone, except for that hobo guy over there. And uh, let's get to it. You guys ready? Janet, I gave you a bunch of stim packs. Maybe you should, uh, I don't know, shove a few in your arm or something. Just saying. Put them in there. Put them in there. It's time to go to the moon and possibly die. Bum, ba, dum. Wait. You cannot access your inventory. Oh, crap. Crap, crap. Oh no. <laughs> Maybe I should have left them at home. Oh wait, here's Janet. Where's Jerry? Did Jerry fall asleep in there again? Janet! Janet! All right, I'm gonna go get help. Maybe, probably not. Ooh. Activate hatch of rocket to Earth. All right, Janet. All right, maybe I should have left you home. All right, we're gonna go back and leave Janet home. There's no fuel, dumbass. Ah, damn it. All right, Janet, we'll be back for you. Welcome to Terrace a Radiant Moon Base, Honey Pamela Station. Pamela. Oh, there you are. You guys are good. Okay, so I can't activate my inventory. Station under security, lockdown, access denied. <gasps> Com relay. If there are aliens in this, I'm gonna poop my pants. I don't wanna poop my pants. This is awesome, by the way. It's beautiful out today, or tonight. I don't know what time it is. body or something over there. Okay, so we got the... Mineral ore. You'll need some kind of tool to shatter the ore away from the rock. I 
peep out. Don't come over here, you goof. Generators. Dr. Hammond, the phones are working. Oxypod access. Upon closer inspection, you figure out that this plot pod placed far away from the main facility is meant to help astronauts running out of breathable oxygen. The door is firmly sealed shut, bro. Alright, it probably I probably crap. I probably crap. Um no, there was there's a quest marker, but I don't know if that means anything. Alright. Hmm. Lunar Rover Mark II Tannis. This is awesome. Look at this. Cheesenium ore. I'll need some cheesenium. Get me the cheese. Cheesenium. Cheesenium. Choose any cheese. Collect moon rock. Ooh, I got a moon rock. Moon rock. Get your moon rock. Put the moon rock in your moon pocket. Get your moon rock. Your moon pocket moon rock. It's gotta be like an emergency emergency hats or something. Oh wait, we didn't go over here. Aha! You thought you had us fooled, did ya? You don't. Damn it. <clears throat> Have you guys seen anything? Keep an eye out. Also, I might take your guns away. I know Janet's somewhat, yeah, Janet's packing heat. Am I supposed to climb up here? Maybe not. I'm supposed to go up there. Maybe I am. Oh. <laughs> nope. Not supposed to go over there. <laughs> no. You're not supposed to go over there. Alright, so there's radio here. We're supposed to radio him. Alex. This is Bangabong Chicken Radio Station on Earth. Do you copy? Um. Holy crap, I'm here. I can't believe it. It actually worked. Bangabong Chicken? What kind of stupid name is that? I copy. All is good. I'm on my way to the main facilities. Understood. I really hope my old password still works. It doesn't. I mean, it will now. Now listen. I don't think there's gonna be enough fuel for you to get back. So make sure to ask the others for any. Yeah, I think you shit in the microphone. All right, great. Investigate the moon base. All right, I'm guessing all these. Yeah, okay. Now that door will open. Okay. There we go. Welcome, user biosignature not found. Uh, enter at Alex's old password. Annex. Your name's Alex. <laughs> Annex Amander? No. Honey Papa Low Station is under emergency lockdown. Code Papa Oscar India Sierra Oscar November by ID 17,031,841-2. Oh. No shuttles can leave the oh god, it's hot. Communication Ooh. between facilities has been disabled. Oh god. Door access will only be Ooh. used to individuals holding a Get in here. Get, get in here. Alright, let us take this helmet off so I can actually see. Hot dang! Regroup picture plaque. Terrace of Radiant Moon Base, Honey Pum, Ma 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 Mello Station Team Alt Lock. Ooh. From off the right, blah blah blah. People, 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 people. Ooh, I'll bring hot dogs. Food drink. 
Working scientist scrubs. Oh, look at these. This is awesome. Oh, sweet. Oh, this is so cool. Mineral sample. Alright. I need to find a... a um, the sturdy mineral refiner smells faintly of hydrochloric acid. It seems to be turned off. Notes. Jerry, we got your gloves here if you want. Ooh, a paper plane. A <gasps> little paper plane. I, is this a weapon? Oh my god, that'd be amazing. Uh, read research journal. Stochastic... Uh, communication. Uh, for the next experiment, I propose a methodology for studying encrypted archetypes. It is largely an intuitive goal, but rarely conflicts with the need to prove facts, to provide facts to information theorists. We consider a framework consisting of n wide area chemical connections. This is a robust property of our heuristic. We hypothesize that each component of roabime allows self learning symmetries, independent of all other components, though futurists generally postulate the exact opposite. Roabime depends on this property for correct behavior. Continuing with this rationale, rationale Rationale, rationale. Uh, we assume that the sen seminal metamorphic algorithm for the construction of lamport clocks by G. Quan et al. runs in ON2 time. I use a previously synthesized results as a basis for all these assumptions. Though my co-worker disagree, my co-workers disagree, my application depends on this property. See, the one time we need Steve to explain what the hell's going on. I wonder if we're gonna need any of these. Hello, glass beaker. Whoops. Pre up day. Fuzzy thoughts, candlelight. Are these poems? No, these are messages. Alright, I'm gonna explore a little bit. We're gonna come back and read that. Holy shit, there's so many. <laughs> Sticky papers. I've been having such horrible cravings lately. I need something sweet. So now I'm finding myself grabbing the Silitol crystals. We're not using them for anything anyway. Mashing them up and sprinkling them on my food. And the others look at me like I'm crazy, but they don't understand. This stupid healthy food feels so damn bland. Give me sweets or give me death. Ink container? There is so much stuff to look at in here, oh my god. Replicated methodologies, the development of replicated methodologies has been widely studied. Last month I addressed all the obstacles inherent in the previous work, an omnis omniscient tool for improving our research method proposed by Danica fails to address several key issues that my solution does solve those numbers. Obviously, if performance is a concern, Uralhum has a clear advantage. All of these solutions conflict with our previous assumptions that the evaluation, evaluation of growth speed and the understanding of artificial pollination are key. Obviously, you guys. A number of related algorithms have been explored, either for regular study or for the synthesis of mm, potatoes version 6. Recent work suggests an algorithm for harnessing the deployment of the growth buffer, but does not offer an implementation. Clearly, the class of concurrent epistemology is enabled by Uroham is fundamentally superior from related methods. Communication between facilities have been disabled. Door access will only be given to we're gonna get so overcumbered. Oh my god. You whores. What have you done? A new generation of radios. Also, we haven't checked out the dead body right there. I'll get to it. You know what's more exciting than the dead body? Um, uh, this. I like this. That's what. Alright, fine. Hi, Lisa. God. Always, oh, why isn't he looking at my dead body? Aluminum dog tags. Can of condensed milk. I'm drinking this. Chocolate chip snaps. I'm eating this. Reading glasses. Red scientist grubs. Mm. Mm. I like the space suit. We'll keep our space suit. Space suit. Ooh, we got more space suits. Paint gun, respirator. Space suit helmets. Baka, ba 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 Shizenium Trials. Ooh, look at that. Alright, there's gonna be a lot of reading in this. Come on, give it a try. Just a bite. I don't think sticking space debris in my mouth is a good idea. Put it in your mouth. Really now? I thought you'd be braver than this. It's not gonna kill you. Yet. Fine, fine, jeez. Hmm, hey, it's not that bad. See? I told you. It's good, isn't it? 
I guess. I don't know if he'll find anybody else willing to try, though. Nah, they'll come around. <laughs> this is so exciting. We can feed so many people with this if we mine it. Are you really going to call it Chizenium? It's a working title. Yeah, they probably shouldn't eat that. Are we gonna really find out? Holy shit, that's scary. Oh no, I don't want to turn the door. Oh no. I don't want to go in there. Oh shit. Alright, this just got really scary. Oh no. I don't know why I just got really scared. Probably because I turned the light on. There's a dead body. Oh, Euro goodies. We're taking this. Valentina! Valentina! There's your baby, Valentina! I'm gonna take this teddy bear, hope nothing pops up and murders me. The teddy bear is surprisingly heavy. Investigate teddy, science for your hire. Holy shit! There's pornography in this teddy bear. Activate holotape. There's several transcripts stored, but most of them have been damaged. Only one fully readable is labeled recording number three. Interesting background noises. Door opens and closes. Lisa, wake up! Uh, what? I'm not sleeping, I swear. I'm Valentina. What is it? Have you seen Judith? We've been looking for her all over. She had to go to the greenhouse to collect the potato samples, but she never showed up. I don't know. I mean, she has to be around here somewhere. It's not like we can escape. Did you check the comm relay? Yeah, everywhere except for the boss's old room. It's locked anyway, so she couldn't be there. Right? Door opens and closes again. Oh my gosh, girls. You won't believe this. What? Judith just arrived at the greenhouse. The boss was there and she was pretty mad. She asked Judith where she'd gone and... And? Judith actually shoved her and shit went bad. She was so mad she was pulling on the boss's hair and stepping on her glasses. The boss got a nosebleed and all. Unintelligible. Is the boss okay? Yeah, although her face is a mess. Uh, I mean, y you know, just gonna need new glasses. But let's be careful if Judith comes around. Gotcha, thanks for the warning. Interesting. Honey Palma Low Station is under emergency lockdown. Holy Code shit. Oscar, yeah, alright, there's gonna be a lot of reading. Let's check out if Valentina's got anything in there. Newspaper. No shuttles can leave the area. Communication between facilities have been disabled. Door access will only be given to individuals yes, holding a high level security clearance. Miss Skynum. Please remain calm and wait until the lockdown is lifted. Thank you. Right. Have a very safe and productive day. Man, there's a lot of reading. Okay. I don't mind it. These little mugs. Is he flipping her off? What is going on in that picture? <laughs> is he... Oh, he's caressing her face. Okay. <laughs> uh, just flipping her off right in front of her. Alright, we got a lot of lockers. Okie dokie, read that. We have the computer in there still. We got a lot. Journal cover is slightly burned. Read some of the pages that are inside or held with duct tape. My investigation on Paradite is going well enough that I've decided to take a little break before I burn the place down. Whoa! Especially after the accident last month. Um, luckily, lucky, lucky we had the extinguishers on hand. When the boss called me to her office, I thought my goose was cooked. Heh, <laughs> goose. But she silently applied some healing cream on my burns and then just told me that she'd explain what had happened to Central. She's been so quiet lately, I wonder what's on her mind. My workplace now is a huge burn mark and smells a bit bad. Eh, I can live with it. My hand doesn't hurt as much anymore, so I've started helping around the greenhouse again, although I tend to spend most of my free time helping Hadley in the galley. I know he doesn't like to think of himself as the chef, but he loves to cook as much as everybody else likes to eat. Besides, I know he's always paranoid about others making fun of his accent, and it's kind of sad. He's a great guy, and if I help him, I get to sample the food for everybody else, too. Honey, Palma Low Station is under emergency lockdown. Code Papa Oscar, Indian Sierra Oscar, November by ID 17,031,841-2. No shuttles can leave the area. Barry Bear. Communication 